Hello. In this video, we will discuss about how to take the backup of a Moodle course. So I am going to my Moodle website and I am in the dashboard of my Moodle website. Then for creating a website, I am just open, uh, creating a backup. I am just opening the course where I want to perform the backup operation. So I go to this more option of my course administration so i am so i am in the, into my course basic introduction to model there i am going for this edit option and there i am going for the more option and in this more option there is an option for so i am in the course administration and i select this backup then when you take the backup you decide what are the things you want to backup if you want to include enroll users you you keep it check so i don't want this enroll users i just want the course and its resources all resources i have given and other activities so i i remove the enroll users and after that i go to next then uh, you can see various activities and resources i have provided in that course and we decide whether we need all this and if we need all this we can then now uh, we we can go to the next then uh, this again we are in some backup settings so uh, whether we need to include blogs include activities and resources and this all you can select then we go for a perform backup now this backup is successfully created and we can continue so this is the backup backup moodle 2 course introducing moodle so this is a zip file so i just it was created on april 23rd and the size is 21 mb i can just download this so i am downloading this So it is now available in the uh, Moodle. Uh, it is available in the download folder. And then uh, if I want to upload it into my new genome Moodle website, so I am here. So I, I am into my genome website, myvcgenomeo.com. So this is my new Moodle website. Here I am at more this site administration. And if I want to upload this course into my new model website, I go to courses and here there is an option, restore a course. So I go for restore a course. Then uh, here I can choose the file which is being downloaded. So I go to this upload file option then choose a file then in my downloads there is the backup option so i open this then i say upload this file so i am uh, in the process of uploading this file to into, uh, into my new moodle website so it it is a rather big file so it is taking some time and we will have to wait for some time and this is a very useful uh, facility available in Moodle because uh, you can download and you can keep your courses ready for future uh, use. Whenever you want, you feel that you need a, uh, the old course, you can upload. Now the uh, course is being uploaded. Then you can press on this button, restore. So this backup details are coming so what what modules uh, we want to restore so these are the modules uh, which were available in that course then i can press on continue then uh, uh, where where it has to be uh, stored so we, i here also i have only one category the miscellaneous category so it is being uh, 
uploaded and here we need to decide whether it is it has to be restored as a new course you select this and then you go for or here in this option you can restore this into an existing course but uh, I, we are not going for that we, we will restore it as a new course so i am just continuing so So it, where, in which category it has to be uh, uploaded, we need to decide. I, I didn't decide on this, so that was that is why it was not going. So I have selected miscellaneous also. So this course will be restored into miscellaneous category. And now this is uh, uh, being uh, restored. I think we have reached almost the final step. So I'm going to next. So finally we say perform restore. Now this will I say continue. Now the course is restored successfully. So now if I go to my site home there is a new course basic introduction to Moodle. So this way I have brought my course from a previous site to the new site. This is how we perform the course backup and restoration. So hope you'll be able to do this. So this way uh, as a course created in the previous site can be brought into the new site. Hope you'll be able to do this. Uh, best wishes, thank you.